in this video we are going to break Elden Ring and its DLC with the Black Steel Twin Blade, one of the most underrated weapons of the DLC, but one that I believe is very powerful when it comes to deal a lot of damage in a very short time window. For that reason I'm going to use this weapon to defeat the pre-major boss of the base game and the DLC without taking a single hit. With this one we are going to use the Black Steel Twin Blade on plus 25 with the Royal Knights Resolve Ashwar on the Sacred Affinity, but we can also use it in the Flame Art Affinity. The scale values will be the same and this way we will be able to face enemies that are extremely resistant to holy damage like the end game bosses of the base game. We need any weapon with the Raptor Optimista Shovar to easily dodge the Radan Slide Explosion attack or any other difficult attack. In the same way we will use the Madding Hand that will increase our damage by 7.5% with each Madness proc. And to start the fights with the Bleed buffs active we can use any weapon with Seppuku, but it is completely optional. We are going to be rocking 3 pieces of the Rakshasa's armor set for a 6% damage boost and we will combine it with the Black Dumpling that will increase our damage by 10% with each Madness proc. The best talismans we can use for this build are the Aged One's Exultation, the Sacred Scorpion Charm, the Two-Handed Sword Talisman and the Axe Talisman. But if you want you can also use the Lord of Blood's Exultation and the Rodden Wings or Insignia. All of these talismans can be played at the same time together, but you have to do some swapping, that step is completely optional. If you don't like the idea of swapping you can use them this way. And remember that if you are going to be dealing fire damage you will have to replace the Sacred Scorpion Charm with the Fire Scorpion Charm. Something similar is gonna happen with the Flask of Wondrous Physic. Normally we will use the Blood Sucking Crack Tear and the Holy Shrouding Crack Tear, but if we are going to deal fire damage we will replace the Holy Shrouding Crack Tear with the Flame Shrouding Crack Tear. But as I previously mentioned that is going to be only when facing enemies that are extremely resistant to holy damage. In most scenarios of the DLC holy damage is absolutely amazing and for some reason I find very difficult to deal consistent stance damage with the Twin Blades. That's why I'm going to use the large Glintstone Scrap that will allow me to deal some stance damage quickly. And as any other broken build of this channel this one devours stamina so be sure to craft some pickle turtle legs to boost your stamina regeneration speed. In order to obtain the max performance of this weapon and to have an optimal build we are going to use 50 on vigor, 20 on mind, 40 on endurance, 18 on strength, 35 on dexterity and 99 on faith. Golden Vow and Hall of Shabriri are going to be our main buffs. To counter the HP drain effect of the blood sucking crack tier, we are going to use the blessing of the earth tree and to build madness as fast as possible we are going to use Midras Frenzied Flame. As you can see I have my scatter tree blessing on the level 20 and if you want to deal the same amount of damage I'll be dealing to the hardest DLC bosses be sure to have it on the level 20 as well. If you don't want to farm runes or materials for your Elden Ring builds MMOEXP is the best web service where you can easily acquire as much runes and items as you wish for the best price. Use my code CARLOSEN to get a 5% discount on your purchases. Thanks MMOEXP for sponsoring today's video. Now I'll show you how to buff your character with this build. First you need to have equipped your mad in hand, then you are going to use your flask of wondrous physic and you will cast golden vow. Immediately after that you are going to use your pickle turtleneck and you will cast blessing of the earth tree and after that you are going to refill your FP. Now you are going to build up badness with Midras frenzied flame and you'll do it until you are very close to proc it, then you will refill your FP, your HP and you will cast Hall of Shabriri to proc madness. Once madness has been proc you are going to use seppuku, this way you will trigger your most powerful buffs at the same time but remember that it is completely optional. Now refill your FP, your HP and with that you should be ready to go. Just be aware that you have to use Royal Knight's Resolve before attacking your target. Now that we have completed and optimized our build, what do you say if we begin with the boss fight? Guys, that's nice. Let's go, baby. Let's go. I'm gonna take it, baby. <laughs> And we did it as it has to be done, baby. Let's go. No way.
That's nice. Come on. Let's go, baby. We did it. That's what I'm talking about. Oof. Okay, bad boy. There we go. Okay, let's do this. Okay, close. We are close, guys. Oh. Nice try, bad boy. Nice try. Hmm. Okay. Come on, baby. Let's get this. Let's go! Let's go! <laughs> nice! <laughs> Let's go, baby. Wow, bro. This is insane for me. Okay, take this. <laughs> Let's go! Come on. Careful, guys. Come on. One more. Come on. Come on. Let's go! <laughs> Let's go, baby! Quickly. Nice. Take this. Come on. Oh, amazing, bro. Come on. Oh, let's go, baby. Easy. We lost the buffs very fast, as I told you guys. I don't know why we are losing them very fast. Okay, but then... What are you waiting for, bad boy? Okay. Come on. Nice, baby. Come on, that's a lot of damage, bro. That's good. Come on, baby. Come on, come on. Let's go! <laughs> come on. Come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Let's go, baby. Let's go. Let's go, let's go. Thank God, bro. And I will not have enough time to stop, but it's okay. Come on. 
Come on. Oh, jeez. Careful. Come on. Well, let's get him. Come on, baby. Oh, <laughs> let's go. <laughs> okay. Nice. Come on, go down. Nice. Come on. Oh, beautiful damage, baby. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> nice strategy, bro. <laughs>